Hello everybody, I'm Jeff Phillips and welcome to this week's webisode. Every week I bring in a different business to help share tips and advice within their industry. And today I'm happy to announce that I have Jaquel. Jaquel, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks, glad to be here. Why don't you uh, explain to everybody a little bit about what you do. Well, I'm Jaquel Leggett, the owner and operator of International Minute Press Printing here in Durham, North Carolina. We're a full service printing, marketing, design company. It includes items like business cards, brochures, letterhead, mailing, signs. Basically, whatever it takes to make someone's business grow. Okay. Um, some of the things you mentioned, I think most viewers probably know what those are, but right. um, there's one thing I want you to talk about a little bit is what is a rack card? Well, a rack card, well, I happen to have a sample here. So, a rack card is basically one slice of a traditional trifold brochure. So, you have a traditional trifold brochure, and then you have a rack card, it's like one third of it. And a rack card is great for if you have a customer or somebody you're trying to target specific services, then a right card is great as opposed to hitting a, someone with all of your services. And they're not going to take the time to read a, a trifold brochure and go through all the details. So you save a bit on printing and it's a bit more targeted and it gets right to the point with the customer. Okay. So is that something that you help or could help create and design? Yes, we have graphic designers and, and printers. We can design it and print it for you as well. Okay. So the, the, do those get mailed? Um, directly to homes or is that something you hand out? Uh, these typically with right cars people have them on a rack or hence the name okay. or they have, them in a, they have them in a store people will walk by they see one pick it up uh, somewhere visible or if you may have your right card in someone else's store in a different location uh, it's sort of something you can do instead of a business card a bit larger grabs the eye a bit more. Okay so let's say somebody comes to you with some printing, letters, envelopes, whatever, um, and they want to mail them. Do you help with that? Right. And if so, how do they get started? So with the mailing, really one of the first questions that needs to be answered is, do you want to target areas immediately around your business or do you want to go to specific customers? So something customers commonly hear about is every door direct mail from the post office, which is more of a saturation mail and it helps you target areas and it goes to every household in a particular area, whether it's an apartment or a home, whatever the case may be. So if you have a business, let's say a restaurant, and you want to hit a certain location or a certain radius around your location, then a saturation mail with a service like Every Door Direct Mail from the post office probably will work well for you. But if you have a swimming pool business and you only want to target households that have, let's say, at least a half an acre, that have a certain net worth income, the house is worth a certain value, then doing a, a saturation mail into an area may not be best because you're going to waste a lot of money in postage and printing, sending items to houses for people who are not interested in your services. Even if they are interested, they may not have the space in their home for a swimming pool. Uh, so in that case, a targeted mailing where you buy an address list and you choose that address list based on certain criteria that fits your business. So that's probably the that's the most, one of the most important questions you have to figure out when you start the mailing process. Yeah, because otherwise it could be a lot of money wasted, right. as you mentioned. So, all right, so there's a lot of competition these days between, in the printing industry, at least it seems to right. me. What's the difference between you and an online printing company? Well, for us, we really get to know our customers. We have an in-house graphic design st staff. We have print specialists um, who can kind of go through help you match paper to your budget. You get to look and feel. The graphics designer can then come in and design artwork that takes people's ideas and, and transforms them and, and makes them what the person really desires. And we also provide free local delivery, so don't worry about any shipping charges. And then it really, just, it's just a report that's built up over time. We have a lot of customers. They are great at their profession. They do what they do very well. And they just don't have the time or the patience to do a good job coming up with printing ideas or designing different things or they don't necessarily know what paper stock is best for which application so they just kind of blindly choose different things uh, based off some template or something that they see online. Uh, it's just the overall experience is better uh, having somebody local keeping the money in the local community as well is also a good reason to use this locally but overall we just really work with the customer to help maximize their dollar with their printing. Okay. Well, good. Well, thank you, Jaquel. Yeah, I appreciate, appreciate the information, and thank hopefully those of you watching have gotten some good tips out there. And if you'd like more information on Jaquel and his business, uh, check out his website at the end of this video. Um, if you'd also like to continue this conversation online, please do so by filling out the box below. 
That's all I have for this week. Until next week, take care.